imagine what this look like if you only had a thousand dollars when you moved to the U.S. But everybody told you that you're on H1B, you don't have product management experience. You feel like it's actually impossible. But what if you're able to double your salary, actually smoothly transition into product management? How is this going to change your future career trajectory and your future income? <laughs> Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy B, a director of product and featured in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. If you're interested in product management course, you should go to pmaccelerator.io and learn more. And make sure to check out our Instagram stories. We're able to find so many people just a very similar background like you and how did they make the transformation, have those breakthroughs. I believe one of the days we're going to see your successful stories as well. If you like any of the free tips we provide you today, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you'll be notified every time I publish a new video every Tuesday. Today, I had a pleasure to invite our guest speaker on our product leader podcast series. That's Sherry. Welcome, Sherry. I'm very, very excited to hear about how you conquer the struggle and actually double your salary. And thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, Dr. Nancy Lee. I'm really uh, very excited to be in your channel today. Welcome, welcome. So, Sherry, why don't you do a quick introduction? Um, all the audience been waiting to hear your stories. Sure. So, my name is Shelly and I have like four years of experience building B2C products. I currently work as a product specialist at Deloitte and I love building great products which delight customers. So this particular journey of like getting into product management was exciting, challenging and Honestly, it was something like a dream come true. How exciting. So Sherry, why don't we do this? Um, you mentioned that dream come true. Why don't you tell us your top challenges when you get started, especially you mentioned you're lacking lots of resources when you try to transition into product management. Sure. The most primary challenge that I was facing is my confidence because, you know, that time, like I did, I was not confident at all. I didn't have that confidence to go and conquer things, but now I have it for sure. So that time, I just kept thinking about what I had. So I was like, I didn't have much resources. I, I shifted from India to United States with just thousand dollars. And then, you know, there were so many things happening. The COVID just came in and, you know, like for H1Bs, uh, like for F1 students, it was so hard to get a job during COVID because they would not accept people with H1B. So I was between going for a dream job and also like, uh, uh, looking into my immigration problems. So that was very challenging at that time. And I literally didn't know many things about how the US market works. I used to work um, in a consulting firm and then I did, I did not have enough resources and time to manage everything. To overcome this, what I did is I joined the PM Accelerator course. When I first talked to Dr. Nancy Lee, I had a thinking that this is my last shot and I'm gonna like give my 100%. I'm gonna give my time even after um, even after so many, so many things that was happening in my life, then I decided to join Dr. Nancy class so that I will have a class to attend and I will give that time, then made a roadmap of my week that how I'm gonna like uh, give my time to the class, do my homework and other stuff. Actually, your story is so touching regarding building confidence and said lots of audience are thinking about the same thing say oh i'm not good enough i don't have this i don't have time actually yourself was a consultant like working 60 80 hours per week and you didn't have money either when you get started with your career in the us but you made it happen this is amazing stories everyone love to learn from you thank you so much for sharing with us can you tell us more regarding your challenges transitioning into product management with a consulting background sure so being a consultant i every time i really had time crunch. I used to work like 80 hours a week. It was like my calendar was always filled with meetings scheduled. I didn't even get time to like, like have lunch in a proper time. I was always here and there. But then I changed my mindset over there. Like I have to do this. It doesn't matter. The first thing I can't leave my job because I need to look after many things. So I can't leave my job. I am on visa. I have to do it together anyhow. So that's how what I did is I I learned 
actually i so one week i was into this thought that how i'm going to manage my time and and what all i need to collect it for so i made a road map so every sunday i would like um uh, do my class in the pm accelerator course then i would make a road map uh, of my week how does my week look like i have a plan it's in front of me my cell phone or my ipad is giving me reminder it reminds me and that helps me manage my task right so i learned that i did that so my the the very important thing in transitioning to pm was my time management my time was really hectic i was also going through some weight loss because i really gained a lot of weight with stress and bad eating habits so i had to go for exercise also at least five times a week mm-hmm. but i made a plan so my takeaway over here is if you plan for anything if you just make a road map as a pm skill for each and everything you'll be able to do it because you know you'll have notification you'll have alarms and you'll have so many things so you have to do it you have to get up from your bed actually so in brain thank you for being vulnerable with us not only like stress from work and you also gaining weight you have to work out it's like no time working 80 hours per week and doing planning and actually i'm big proponent like for planning and this is my plan guys <laughs> this is like my plan and it's like crazy this is my yeah. like scheduling as well that works that works yeah, and actually works. um we should teach this inside pm accelerator like for people to better organize yeah, time. Exactly. this is yeah. amazing this so, is very important it's just a simple word word like time management but this is very important my second challenge was storytelling i was not aware of like what storytelling is actually I didn't know if you ask me a question I would straight away tell you I would not like follow any framework or think about it storytelling means I was not able like sometimes I think I'm not like I'm not able to craft things very clearly or you know I'm not able to tell my things very clearly or you know my tone changes so I started working on those so what I used to do I purposely used to go to a mock interview session which uh, we had in the PM accelerator course and I used to speak my thoughts I used to speak what I prepared then I used to get feedback there and that was very embarrassing all the time but still I did not stop doing that like you know like in front of so many people uh, people are telling you know this is wrong this is, you need to uh, work on this so this is really embarrassing and it's okay but it's okay you should keep in mind you don't have to think other people uh, like about other people you have to think about yourself i i knew i'm going to improve by this so i did this then one day i really went to the cl- you must have remembered uh, dr nancy like i came up with such a good answer about yeah uh, and and you you praised me out there right like oh that's such a beautiful answer so so you know just give it some time don't be shy practice let other people give you feedback and i'm sure like one day you can crack google as well so it's there's like it's nothing like it's there's nothing impossible that's for sure i can assure and if you feel is, if anything is impossible for you like you can talk to me you can call me actually thank you so much sherry um thank you for empowering everybody and and you're right it's like i saw you improvement it was like you yeah, like if you at beginning and then like it was so good yes and i i bet lots of people just felt like i'm not good enough trying to improve but the marginal improvement i very important for people to continue the progress and also seeing how other people oh this is possible she improved see how she came in she was like that now she's like this oh, i can do this as well so that's the power having a community this is amazing so now tell us your third challenge and how did you conquer those one of the major issue there was networking i i really didn't want it to network you know on linkedin it's very vague you send 500 requests 300 people accept your request nobody like reply on your messages or in mails or whatever you do it is so difficult but if you craft a message specially for a person that person will definitely reply that's what i learn in pm accelerator class like craft a message individually for a person suppose you see an ex job so you want to in mail a person from that ex organization so you need really need to craft 
um that message for him that resonates with the other person that resonates with you and that's how you connect so connecting and networking is very i know it will take time but this like trust me this time is worthy after i started doing that i got more than 60 interviews i never failed a recruiter round and uh you know like uh, out of 50 interviews i got like five offers in which uh, one of i had is like doubling my um, salary and like so many other good things so start connecting so start connecting means show your interest like if you start showing your interest if a person knows because there's a lot of opportunity in this tech world it's 2022 and we know how tech is growing i got a lot of a uh, lot of leverage of time i i never used to have time so scheduling interview was like a challenge for me i i really used to tell them to wait for a week but they waited and i interviewed there so so that was very so i understood that 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 okay i need to connect if i connect things work this is amazing i love your gut that is okay because you connect with hiring manager and recruiters it's like i'm very busy i'm freaking concerned I'm working 80 hours per week can you wait for a week they actually waited for you this yes, is amazing actually it happened awesome and actually it's the same strategy is apply applicable to our student somia and she did the same thing she was like six months pregnant she was like mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't I just say I'm busy and she had a full-time job. It's very uncomfortable. It's like your efficiency drops significantly when become, once you get pregnant. That's what I learned. It's five times <laughs> less efficient once you're pregnant. And then she said the same thing. She said, they, they should start like, I'm the center of the interview. Hey, you guys slow down. Or she reject people for interview. She was the one managing her own time, learning time management, telling others they do not do things. Or, or she need to what make them wait. It's, it's, it's so powerful, so powerful once you know how to connect with others. Sherry, so let, let me ask you this very most important, interesting question. You had this double your salary and given you only had $1,000 when you moved to the US on like as a student, like on H1B. So what's the most important shift that pushed you to the next level? I had to change my mindset and my attitude towards learning. I. I used to think that, okay, this is not possible, that is not possible, but no. If you want something, everything is possible for you. Nothing is impossible in front of you. So always before going to school or before like graduating, I had a vision that I have to be a leader in this industry. I have to own my career and, and you know, like act as a leader, do some things that really affects or impact uh, the community. So. I totally changed my mindset thinking that, okay, this is my goal. I'll be working towards it. If I reach here to some point, it's fine. But one day I know working like this one day I'll reach, reach to, to my goal. So that was the, you know, the most important shift that believing in yourself. So I, I started believing in myself. If I used to see someone speaking very well, I used to, like learn like i used to imitate them like speaking that way so that i learn if i want to speak that way i have to learn right i have the full planning okay planning changes but but there's no harm in planning you can also like work on that planning so so i believe and i work like that honestly that's amazing that's why you're contributing back to the communities can you tell us more regarding how you leverage communities how you help others and how other people help you as well yes so one very beautiful story uh, about this uh, my husband was a software engineer and i helped him trans transition to pm now he's with workday working so he was interviewing for product manager role but um, um, he was offered senior product manager role so that is one way i'm giving back to society okay next was resources so i would get a lot of resources on youtube uh, googling but you know there was no validation but when i went to pm accelerator classes i used to go to class i ha used to have my question ask question discuss with the community and and honestly guys community is a blessing like you will never regret getting into it because you learn from different people and you learn from different minds like different perspective of people like what they are saying about and what they are talking about product 
so that way um joining that community gave me confidence like okay um i'm i i get to read so many answers i get to read so many things that gives me a quite good knowledge this is amazing thank you so much that's why we invite you back to be our guest speaker on influential product leader podcast series because you actually the definition of strong leader is helping others to grow together this is amazing awesome so can you tell us what is what the day to day look like as a product manager right now in your current company so right now i am working on okay so there is some gap analysis that i need to do in uh, at deloitte which is a consulting company but it has a lot many of its own product so there is a gap analysis happening between industry and like tech products and the consulting product so i'm working on that i'm also working on a pricing analytic um website where you know where you can shop for consultant when you come on the website you can shop for consultants like if you want to build something you need support or um you need to change your legacy system into cloud so basically i'm working in cloud and it's like my day starts with daily stand up meeting then a little bit of market research then i go into customer research what other companies are doing and then i have like a lot many stakeholders meeting so mostly my days are filled with meetings and rest of my um day i give it into research to know like why we are building this what people want how how we can analyze data to make this better so mostly goes into me stakeholders feedback and then you know reprioritizing it so a little complicated that side but i enjoy doing it This is amazing. Thank you for sharing with us. For lots of people who want to learn more about what the day to day look like as a product manager and what's your skill set, um, feel free to check out more videos on top of the screen right now, and you can start learning、uh, for free starting from today. Awesome. So, Sherry, let me ask you the last question. What specific advice you have for others who want to jumpstart their product management career? I would say follow your instinct. Like. Understand at the very early in your career. Don't wait for too long, and understand like what you want to do. You want to be a coder. You want to be a product person. You want to build products. Do business strategy. Like think about it. What you want to do, and see where you're interested. I would say in early career, just try to toggle between things and see if you're interested. Where does your interest goes, and then choose it. Like. It's never too late. You can always switch into different professions. Like that's completely fine. But you know, I would like what I did is I thought I I understood. I made an effort to understand what I like to do. So I did this. So because I believe like if you're interested in something, you're more more likely to be successful. Yes, and I love what you do. This is、yep. amazing, and actually combining your help, your hobby, your passion with work, I think the best thing ever could happen to everybody.、Yeah. We spend so much time working every day. It's better to、yeah. work something you really love. Now,、yeah. specifically, if people already decide they want to become a product manager, so what, what advice do you have for them if they decide we want to become PM? What should I do next? So, if you have no idea and you want to start on your PM journey. I would say enroll in Dr. Nancy's PM Accelerator program and also do your own research, own study, set up a、uh, intro call to understand more about the program. See a few videos on YouTube. There are many free videos on YouTube, and then you decide that how you want to go about it. Awesome. Thank you very much, Sherry, and for sharing with all of us. And for people who is interested in PM Accelerator, and feel free to go to this webinar with the step number one. You to attend this webinar to learn more about our program and also schedule an interview with our head mission to see if you qualify for the program. We're going to link the webinar in the description of this video, and feel free to check out all the free training on YouTube as well. Thank you very much, Sherry, and thank you for joining us. I'm gonna see you next time, and really have you to join us today. Thank you.
All right, see you guys. If you like the free tips we provide today, please make sure to like the video and subscribe so that we notify every time we post a new video every Tuesday. And this is Dr. Nancy Lee from PM Accelerator. I'm going to see you next time. Please comment in the description. Let me know what kind of new videos you want me to film. And we're looking forward to hear from all of you guys. Subscribe and like and see you soon.